But our first guest has performed all over the world and even for an actual prince. And this has led him to perform for the prince and princess, talented <laughs> as David <laughs> Sears said. Yes. Yes, welcome, Arthur yes. Trace. Hey, Truly. Good to see you, Now sir. he's made it because good. he's I'm, the boss. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the show. I've officially made it. And it's an honor to be I here like with Fiona and Mike. Career, yeah. so. Hey, guys. Uh, so, uh, you know, sometimes people have a, a favorite playing card, Fiona, mm -hmm. a, a lucky card, yeah. if you will. Uh, so I think today is Mike's lucky day. What do you think? I think the sun always <laughs> shines on that one. <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, Mike, I, the reason it's your lucky day is because we're going to attempt to find your lucky card. Okay. Right? At any point that you wish, go ahead and say stop. Stop. Right here. Okay. This, Fiona, this is the card Mike stopped me on. Okay. We'll go ahead and take a look at it in just a moment. Okay. Now, Mike, from this point on and for the rest of your life, that will always be known as your lucky <laughs> card. No pressure. Okay. All right. No pressure. Mike, anytime you're ready, say any card out loud. What would you like? Uh, Queen of Hearts. The Queen of Hearts. Now, I want you to be 100% certain that you could have basically had any one of these cards. Okay. Are you certain you want the Queen of Hearts? Or it's up to you, Mike. You can change your mind. It, it, it reminds me of Fiona. So, yes, I'll take okay. that. Oh, oh, my God. You are the star. <laughs> right? so, so, check this out, Fiona. This is the card he stopped me on. Apparently, his lucky card. You see, if this is Mike's lucky card, it will tell us where his Queen of Hearts is. Oh, your lucky card, Mike. Don't forget it, the nine of hearts. See, the, the nine tells me that your thought of card must be nine cards down from the top of the pack. Let's see. That's oh, one, nine. two, okay. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Moment of truth, nine. The <gasps> queen of hearts. Oh, All right. my God. <laughs> now, now, hold on, hold on. Uh, you know, you were, you were saying the emojis, right? My emoji face would be the astonished face because that's what I want to do for you home viewers, okay? But I, I get a sense that perhaps some of you may be skeptical that the nine of hearts uh, is not your lucky card, Mike. So we're going to disprove it to the uh, okay. non-believers that that is not the case. I want you to help me in cutting the pack into about four piles. So I will go ahead and start. That is one. Actually, that's a little thick. Go okay. ahead and cut about a third of these cards and place them right here. Just a third. Okay. So just yeah, that top little bit right yeah. there. Okay. There you go. How about and that? take about half of these cards and cut them over here, all okay. the way towards closest to about your side. Here. Now, Fiona. <laughs> yes. I have not cut the cards, right? No. Mike has. Mm -hmm. If the nine of hearts is truly Mike's lucky card, okay. he'll be lucky enough to cut to the four nines. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. Oh, that's God. one lucky guy. Take him to Vegas. I know, right? <laughs> I know. Now, I, I don't want to leave you out. I, you know, the, the wonderful thing about close-up magic is that you all get to experience this up close and personal. And you two at home, uh, although via the television screen or perhaps on your computer screen, however you're watching it. Fiona, I need to use a court card. So tell me, what do you prefer? The jacks, the queens, or the kings? Kings. Kings, I love it. That's one. That's two. Yeah, I'll, I'll show the viewers at home. That's three. And that is four. Yeah, get real close in on this, all right? Four kings. All right. Now, I always like to learn a little bit about my audience. Okay. So Fiona, you uh -huh. tell me, uh -huh. uh, why do you prefer the kings over the jacks and the queens? Any particular reason? I mean, they're the king. It's good to be the king. It is. <laughs> and, you're, and you're the queen. Yes? Actually, look. Here, I will sit these right here in front of you. Okay. And Mike, place yes. your finger on any card and keep it there. Okay, right there. This one. That one, yeah. As always, I want you to be 100% certain that's a free choice, my friend. Are you certain you want yes. that card? Yes. Very well. Mike, you pick the... Well, look at that. Oh, my God. It's a card. It. You <laughs> It is Mike, Mike, you could have picked any one of these, but no, thanks to your newly found good fortune, he picked his lucky card. The rest of the cards I do not need. I will only be using your selection. So, Fiona, uh -huh. your four kings, and uh -huh. Mike, your lucky card. The kings are like chameleons. Watch. Oh, no way. Oh, yes. Well. Oh! as they transform into the four nines. And Mike, you may be wondering what happened to Fiona's <laughs> kings. Well, Fiona, yes. look, look, look. Uh -huh. They actually travel back into the center of the pack. That's one, no. that's two, that's three, that's yes. Whoa. I don't expect you to take my word for it. <laughs> I haven't even shown you the cards, but that happens to be the, take a look, up close and personal, Six, king of spades, king of clubs, king of hearts, and the king of diamonds. Right? Oh. I know. Applause warranted. Yes. That's... <laughs>
Ah, yes. right here. He's speechless. Oh He's speechless. Oh my gosh. Well, thank you, Kylie. That was incredible. You can see magician Arthur Trace at the Magician's Agency Theater in downtown starting tonight through Sunday, July 24th. Check online for showtimes and tickets. We set up a link on our website. Just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. I really am surprised that your emoji isn't.